How to increase house prices, Australian style. Step 1. Treat housing as an investment, not as a fundamental human right. Some people like the United Nations might try to convince you that housing is a fundamental human right. But don't listen to them. They don't know anything about making money. The best thing governments can do to increase house prices is to follow Australia's lead and make generous tax arrangements for investors, particularly negative gearing, which essentially allows property investors to reduce their tax bill if they make a rental loss on their property, and the 50% capital gains tax discount for investors who hold onto their property for more than one year. This encourages older generations to invest in housing with many living in a mortgage-free home and owning one or more investment properties. This is a great way to push property prices higher and push first home buyers out of the market. Home ownership has been consistently declining with home ownership becoming more concentrated in the older generations, exactly as planned. Step 2. Low interest rates. With interest rates now barely above zero, it's now easier than ever to borrow up big. Of course, the more money people can borrow, the more debt they can get into, and therefore the more money they can spend on housing, pushing up house prices. Ah, it's truly amazing, isn't it? Low interest rates, more debt, higher house prices. It's like some kind of cosmic dance. Some commentators have looked on this in a negative light. How low rates killed the affordable housing dream. But I would suggest that we should reword this to look at it more positively. How low rates blessed the investment housing dream. Step 3. First Home Loan Deposit Scheme If low interest rates aren't enough to get people into massive debt, why not offer 5% mortgage deposits? Under the scheme, eligible first home buyers can purchase or build a new home with a deposit of as little as 5%. Nice. That's a surefire way to keep those house prices going up. Step 4. Housing Grants From regional home building boost grants, to home builder grants, to first homeowners grants, the best thing about these grants is that the general public actually think that they make housing more affordable. But that couldn't be further from the truth. They do the opposite. They increase the house prices, making us more rich. It's unbelievable that people are buying any of this. Anyway, whenever we need to increase house prices any further, we can just invent a new housing grant. The $35,000 Housing Bubble Boost. I can't wait! Step 5. Axe Responsible Lending Laws Yes, to make housing prices go up, just make it easier for people to borrow money by getting rid of those pesky responsible lending laws. All they do is make it hard for people who can't afford a house to get a loan. That's no good if you want high house prices, so let's get rid of them. Anyway, they're the main steps for increasing house prices. Some say that Australians are being lured into the property market by record low interest rates. But don't worry, the RBA insists there is no bubble. Say it with me. There is no bubble. There is no bubble. There is no bubble. House prices just go up. That's just how it works. So get that into your thick head. Some naysayers have asked, will the short-term gain be worth the long-term pain? And I think the answer is an obvious. Yes. These people like to say that the bubble will pop soon. But as I said before, how can the bubble pop when there is no bubble? There is no bubble. There is no bubble. The RBA told me so. So it must be true.